Hey, what's up guys and gals? It's been uh, one heck of a week, one hell of a week. Relaxing in, uh, in my bed right now and I hope you guys and gals have had a good week. So let me just get right into it. It's been a little bit rough to say the least. So uh, starting on Tuesday, I went to work. Starting to feel a little, little cold a little bit. A little bit of a chills maybe, but I wasn't sure and I was like, eh, no big deal. Did my workout. Was feeling a little tired during the workout, but got through it. And then uh, a couple hours later, <clears throat> Tuesday night, I started getting the chills. I, I could just, I could feel it. And I have one of these uh, home thermometers, which I recommend. Uh, it's very uh, handy from Walgreens. I haven't used that in years. And I took my temperature and it was like 99.4. Uh, most people, or the standard body temperature is 98.6 although in the future I will do a video about that 98.6 is just an average some people run higher some people run naturally lower I think I run a little bit lower I typically run around 98 so anyway 99.4 and I was like I don't know what's gonna happen it's getting some chills and then uh, the next day it just got worse so I called in uh, sick from work I just needed a whole day to just decompress, relax, but it was hard to put, you know, or have any uh, uh, urge to eat. So because I wasn't eating much, my energy levels was was already going down, and I was still getting the fever and chills, and then I started getting like the body aches, and then my temperature would it would do this weird thing where it would go, it would fluctuate. So at the high point, it was a hundred point eight, and I was like burning up. And then it would go back down to like 97.1. Sounds like a, a, a radio station dial, right? Just going back and forth, back and forth. And it's just messing with my head. So at that point, I was like, oh my God, I might have to miss another day at work. And then anyway, uh, Thursday comes around and I just power through it. I probably should have taken another day off in hindsight. But I don't want to leave my coworker hanging. He's been working out, working out, huh? working hard, very, uh, very uh, hard for me or for the department and uh, he's a hard worker so I don't wanna leave him hanging. So I went to work on Thursday, I sucked it up so I only missed one day of work and the first couple hours were very tough, the mornings were tough. But after that I felt a little bit better but my energy levels have just been so down because I haven't been able to really eat anything. I mean last couple of days I've been, um, with the exception of right now which I'll get into but it was just, I think I lost like three or four pounds in like four or five days. Uh, true weight. I was only eating maybe, you know, a couple of eggs, a couple of spoonfuls of peanut butter, and it just everything just felt, just I didn't have any urge to eat anything. The smell of certain food, it was just so hard to even eat a couple pieces of broccoli. It it, it was not good. Um, but anyway, um, m moving forward after that, uh, Friday hit. Yeah, I went to work and then I felt a little bit better. But as I was feeling better, I think it was Thursday night. And if you're uh, eating something right now, you might want to put the fork down because it's kind of gross, but uh, it's, 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 it's what happens. I don't know if I just started, I started to eat more solid foods, but then I that Thursday night, I freaking got diarrhea like really bad and self-explanatory. I'm going to leave it at that. So all the fluids and stuff that I was trying to keep in my system to replenish, it's like out the door literally, and I was like, oh my goodness. And then on top of that started getting like really bad headaches so I was getting almost everything that you can name I was getting the chills the body ache the uh, lack of appetite no energy and then the diarrhea and then the migraines and it's just one thing after another and I'm just like this is you know it goes to show you you can't take your health for granted and I have a pretty good immune system but when you get something it can just hit you like a ton of bricks just boom and then you're just gone you know but on the positive things are better now as you can tell I have a little bit more energy but a couple days ago if I were to film you I would just be so just out of it but luckily I'm feeling a little bit better so now that that health part of the week is gone let's move on to the non-health part and it happened on I think Thursday my wife started having some car trouble she has a older Honda 2005 Hondas and I'm a big proponent of Hondas Japanese cars because the engines just I mean if you have a Japanese car I'm sure you can uh, vouch for it uh, their engines can go many many miles without problems uh, based on you know 
my personal experience but anyway she started having some problems and her car wouldn't start and it was just a battery change so i went to o'reilly i changed the battery and actually this was like a, a week and a half ago she had a battery problem i changed it no big deal right and then a couple of days ago she started while she was driving on her the dashboard i guess on the car she was getting this like intermittent uh abs uh check engine oil and other stuff and the radio would like wig out and lose connection so i said just keep a close eye on it but she wasn't comfortable driving on the freeway so she had to work from home so as that happened it it, it started happening more frequently again so we took it into this one guy down the street and he's a really nice guy at, at the auto shop and he ran some tests with the little computer and the weird thing is that this is where the problem is, is very uh, challenging. It's an intermittent problem because when you run it through the computer, these uh, computers, uh, if you're not computer savvy, if you don't know, you hook it up and then it gives you a list of uh, faults, a list of what could be the problem, uh, ABS, boom, 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 whatever. And the thing is, every time you plug it in, it doesn't show anything. It doesn't show that there's anything wrong with the cars so it's like you can't reproduce the uh, problem the mechanic tried to reproduce it he drove it around a little bit and it wouldn't happen so he's like you know what just keep a close eye on it i think it's going to be good fast forward uh for like a one day it was behaving and then it finally happened this has never happened to me it's never happened to my wife let me know the conversation if it's happened to you where we were we went yesterday to get grocery shopping in the morning and we were driving home and we we're in the left turn lane and luckily we're only about one and a half two blocks away from home i'm driving her car and we were just talking about we we're like oh man maybe the problem's gone maybe it was just an intermittent problem we googled it and it had to do with the fact that the battery when you replace it sometimes there's a computer communication problem we're like oh it's probably good as soon as we said that a minute later guess what happened the car just went click 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 boom and it just stopped completely i couldn't turn the key i couldn't do anything i had to put the emergency blinkers on luckily it's not like a huge huge busy street luckily we weren't on the freeway but luckily uh we had to call triple a and then a cop came and uh we had groceries in the back and we had perishables we had like chicken beef and like you can't let it spoil so while my wife was on the phone with triple a for them to tow it to the nearest gas station to the mechanic that we usually go to i got out of the car got the groceries walked home and then was going to come back and then stay with her upon undoing the groceries or putting the groceries back at home she called me and said all of a sudden it started to work so it's like it's a working not working working not working so she drove it back to the uh, gas station where it, where AAA was intending to tow it. And then once we got there, then she called AAA, canceled the service, and then we brought it back to the mechanic. He did more tests, still nothing. And he's like, you know what? You got You have to take it to the Honda dealership. It's their car. It's their brand. They should know. So yesterday, Saturday, we took it to the dealership and... They said that they couldn't find anything it's so frustrating they they're like they they did the same thing luckily they didn't charge anything i was really worried so at zero problems they said they don't know and i picked up the car with my wife this morning and i followed her on the way home and what happened it stalled out one time on the road again it started flashing luckily she put it in park, turned it off, waited a few seconds, turned it on, and it started, and she went home. I was like, just hurry and get home. So after all that, now her car is parked in the front of our house. She was able to get an extra car from my in-laws, her parents, to, to use. And the only uh, small caveat, or not caveat, but one last thing um, I want to say is there is one more potential solution that the mechanics haven't figured out that my wife actually googled and we've been doing a lot of googling that's the great thing about technology you can just google the crap out of things and you can just find different forums in this case car forums with car problems and there's been a lot of specific uh, problems related to after you change the battery this intermittent problem uh, 
intermittent, excuse me, this intermittent problem happening. So I'm going to try this. It's where you unplug the battery, replug it in, wait a few seconds. There's a certain technique, and a lot of people have said it's worked, but the car has to be completely a cold. So we just drove it a few hours ago. So 12 hours, I mean, it might be good in eight hours, but sorry about all this car talk, but it's just, <laughs> it's just a lot going on. So I might just make sure and wait like an extra whole day and make sure the car's completely cold and then undo the battery, return it, and then I got to test it throughout the week. And hopefully that, keep my fingers crossed, hopefully that um, fixes the problem. If by chance it doesn't fix the problem, we may take it to somewhere else. One of my buddies' dad is a mechanic. Maybe they can figure it out. If not, I don't know what to say. Maybe eventually just buy another car maybe but we probably got to get this fixed before we try to sell it that's it guys <laughs> that's how my week has gone uh, the health situation the car situation things could be much worse they could be much better though but they could be much worse um, it is a little bit frustrating because I'm the type of person that I want to make sure to try to fix the problem especially for my wife and her car and for for her sanity I mean I don't want to drive. Who wants to drive knowing that at any point, boom, it's just going to stop? You could be in the middle of a freeway. At, uh, it could, it, it, the situation could have been worse. It could have been uh, during the week on a freeway. So um, we're going to let that car sit idle for a while. I'm going to do some extra tests and then see what happens. Wish me luck. Keep my fingers crossed. That's it. Uh, more content coming. Uh, getting back to normalcy. Get my strength back. Get my app I'm getting my appetite back. And uh, that's it. Uh let me know if you have any uh, stories with your car or, or illness, anything. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Bye.